I must say, me have my gun and my four friends them strap and I'm gonna try to bad me up for a parking spot. And I said, nigga, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'll just get it out here. And I say, if I want that, I shot him in the air ass, you know. Put that go shot up in the back way, go fuck him, boy. What do you think I saw the cup? World dog, you can't do you nothing. Yeah? You can't do you nothing. You're a body boy. You could have bad little more. Me say you're a body boy. Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about dancehall artist Ayak Tien revealing say a man rush him over a parking spot in America. Zin, my people, uh, Ayak Tien has said him did have him gun pan him, and if I did one time, him would have end up a use it. You understand? Plus, Ayak Tien has said him did a par with both four other men, and them did have for them tools pan them as well. So, of course, I'm going to play the video, and we can hear what Ayak Tien has said. Zin, my people, also, we're going to talk about Spice and Shensia receiving a deadly reading from spiritual advisor RT Boss. Also, I'm going to talk about Aisha and Niam being called again after World Dog exposed footer hype. Also, I'm going to talk about Ron Marley, which is the son of Bob Marley, pushing for a dismissal after he was facing or is facing a $18.7 million lawsuit. Not looking good for him, you understand? Also, I'm going to talk about a woman who is now reaching out to Valiant for some help as it relates to buying a fridge. And of course, a fridge is definitely not a want, but a need. You understand? If you have a fridge in your house anyway i'm gonna show you the post that was made zin also i'm gonna talk about dancehall artist movado sharing a message with a man bigging up tommy lee sparta and tj up top boss also i'm gonna talk about tommy lee sparta getting a serious warning to change his life yes it my people and this brother here we are sending a message to tommy lee sparta also spoke about ninja man and him also spoke about some other people you understand so i play the video so you can see what i go on anyway my people before i'm gonna further into the topics don't forget for like share and subscribe also head over to my instagram page mix up time four but i definitely appreciate that as well you understand my people all right first thing we're going to talk about is acting zine my people and as me say acting the depth on live one you don't know him i reveal say yo him did they think of florida and a man rush him over a parking spot zine and how this argument come up is because somebody did write a comment say acting but wish a lot of these entertainers did humble like you i, I acting as shows how him change you understand and him use that as an example and say yo oh a man rush him over parking spot and act and just give him on the spot because if i did one time he would have take out him tool and you don't know the rest from there so you understand and also the man them would they own the acting they would have end up to unwanted man so let me get to this video my people and only can tell me anything about this so glad say it never happened still even though know something will happen today or yesterday but you don't know acting share the story and you know i'm glad for say same never make the wrong move because because maybe he would have been in jail right now or prison, I should have said, is it? Anyway, my people, listen to that video here. Mm. Acting, tell me, yes, man. tell man some like. artists how to no, be, be humble like you. <laughs> well, here we go on now. Yeah, we're there, you know? we're there. Tell some artists how to be humble like you. Well, here we go on now. You're up a shit in the head, man. Humbleness come no, through. No, 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 no. Move, move off now. Humbleness come through move knowledge. Are you okay? DJ Rai, big up yourself, God. People, humbleness come through knowledge. The more you expand your knowledge, mm. and the more you abreast about things, and, when you you and the more you abreast about things, is the more you can see things from different perspective. You are going there, I but a man when I really have the knowledge, he might go act with limited, mm. limited resources. Mm. So enough time on a humble some youth not humble, you know. It's that it's just an algorithm when they depend. I just saw them know if they act. You understand? So when you read more, you expand your, your knowledge more, then you understand. Like before I start making money, a BMW and a Benz mean anything to me. When I start making everything, a house mean everything, because you have a board house and them sitting there sleeping and, and tenement yard, my J. I miss, I'm, and when I start making money, I buy a house there, so people live in it, I don't live in it. I buy one here, so my daughter, that baby mother, Ray. Build big bumbo cloud that was one million at US. Me not living night. Me never swim in my pool yet. <laughs> what? Alright, me, 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 show, me, me show you experience teaches wisdom. See? My mama that telling you this, you know. How are you there? How the fuck me there, brother? Florida me there. And I'm and a Yankee about me up for a parking spot. A Yankee about me up. Remember, I said, I did it with the piranha. You know. 
Mm. I did it with four, four of my friends. Four of my friends. I remember, you know. Anytime I go to the mall, I go to work, my money, I go to work. I'm the only man with power to sing. Everybody else, you know what they do. I don't have to say it over the life. I must say, me have my gun, and my four friends named Strap, and I'm going to try to bad me up for a parking spot. And I said, nigga, yeah, I'm going to yeah, just get it out here. And I say, if I want that, I'm going to in your ass, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. <right? laughs> If I want time, I just shot him in the ass and mash up him all. Eh? Yeah. But through me, me know, say yo. Yeah, when I wear pros and cons, I say yo, God no. You know, make no sense. I make my brother name turn criminal right here, so. Panamalia. And you know, make no, you know, make no sense. So I just give him the parking spot and save my grand. Come here, go buy one. Yeah. I see one Louis V shoes that I mean, like, about $900 feet. I just give him a parking spot and he feel like he win that day. Then the man must say, DJ, yo, with the blood clot, do you say, come in, man? Yeah, make him win, man. Go on with it. Mm. I give him it. For one time, I him, but I grow past them things there. I grow past that. Because mm. you know, I come to the realization and say, yo, there's no tomorrow, you know, be a today, you know. Uh, all of we have an expiry date. Every, everybody has got blood clot dead. Alright my people, and as I say, it's a good thing Acti never make the wrong move because you don't know overseas, he would have worse in a problem and then boom, they would have just deported him to Jamaica if he did make the wrong move. You see my people, so sometimes it's good to actually change and you don't need to prove upon a man, say a bad man and this and that. Only for people can take a, a page out of Ayaktian book because, you know, the, the, the type of message we put out there is something Thing where I guess all we can relate to, you understand, my people. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're gonna talk about spiritual advisor RT Boss and the post that he made on his Instagram page. And this post is getting a lot of attention based on the nature of the post, and it has to do with dancehall queen spice and shensia. And it's not anything good, my people. Is it so? Let me just read this article. Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section, Zin, my people. So, the article is saying RT Boss prefer in death and hospitalization for the queen and princess of dancehall fans sends him back to the pit of hell spiritual reader rt boss has prophesied shocking death in the dancehall fraternity the reader man took to social media yesterday with predictions of ominous ordeals that would be for the queen and princess of dancehall spice and shensia rt boss who proclaimed himself to be a former business associate of spice shared the post as a message to spice and warner of three foreseen deaths including her own the post began by stating, Message to the so-called Queen of Dancehall. I see three funerals in your family, including yourself, in 2024 to 2025. He went on to express his con condolences before moving on to Shensia. While claiming that Shensia will be hospitalized, he said, Private sickness can lead to one's passing. RT Boss added, I see the government Jamaica not naming a road after Spice. The spiritual reading for 2024 to 2025 can Included with a statement from the spiritual king saying he would not be attending a funeral. The Instagram post has attracted mixed reactions with some Instagram users praying against the prediction, some expressing that they believe in his readings and others showing anger towards the post. One person commented on the post saying, prophecy, prophecy, when God's servants speak the wise, listen. Another wrote, back to the pit of hell, I send this by fire. And a third individual said, awaduda doti mania. RT Boss surfaced some time ago as a former spiritual reader for Spice, saying that he helped her in her early stages of her career. However, when Spice became successful, a feud ultimately developed between them and they parted ways. So yes, my people, that is what he had to say. I understand him feel like says Spice, well, him predict that Spice and two other persons in our family are go, you know, pass away out. I don't hear the thing with people, Zane, I'm not even too want to dwell upon this or stress upon this because you don't know me it's all about, you know, positive thinkings and stuff like that. You understand what I say? So, I don't know what to say. Big up Spice, same way. Big up Shensia and big up IT Boss. You see it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about Aisha and him being called as World Dog was basically exposing footer hype. Zane, my people, and of course, you don't know, say footer hype about Bono out World Dog because, of course, World Dog recently came to the defense of Quiet Perry. You understand, my people? And you know, in the past, Quiet Perry and Footer Hype did go at it. You 
understand footer hype this him and I think quite Perry did I go file some last suit against footer hype man talk about something some years ago more people but anyway um fast forward now we see world dog pan um TikTok live with quite Perry holy pa people are bunny motors as fish as a matter of fact before I play the video with world dog at this up footer hype and I call up Aisha and a name I actually play a video with a man where I tell world dog say him can do the guy named slick white line anything because slick white line did make a joke off a of world dog as as it relates to you know taking lion from quiet perry and this and that and world dog did send some threatening voice notes saying i got pay man for the slick white line something uh, and also a guy named I think I call you him name, something like so. The Rasta guy we do the um the song but we him put in at the chicken zine. So a guy you now I tell world dog say him can't do none of the man them nothing people. Listen to this. A man like you all when you ride your bike, you man a bobby to see you off your bike. World dog, you can't do you nothing. Yeah? You can't do you nothing. All when you want a man to do that and want a man to do that. You feel like you have a tech bomb clot, you have lie on them from Man and then take it, go pay a man for kill the youth. Hmm? You're a boy. You could have bad little more. Miss a boy. Yes, is Alpha. Miss a son. Alright, my people, so that is what's taking place. The thing I get serious right about now, you see it. So let me get to a world dog officer as it relates to footer hype now. And only can tell more anything, you see it. Listen this, my people. Hey, go f your girl back with your pussy. I'm sorry that you live, boy. You never talk about the good things that yet. What we do? But Uno, come talk about the whole like bad things them what we do. And we not do the bad things that just care we are playing. Put time go fuck Sean and pussy back where go fuck him boy. Uno, you don't think me as a look at pussy in the pay no boy. You don't know me in a boy. Look at what good things we do for the app. Send people got blood clot people with your surgery. Take care of people your yeah, sight. And none of them come talk about that. One we talk. But make one of we fuck up over your twisty. They sink with. And I go like, couldn't know what I'm talking. Couldn't know what I'm talking. I want to do the dog who feels it, knows it, brother. The positive, the that's positive that's never highlight, bro. Always the negative highlight. Like, be a f The positive, positive never highlight, highlight, bro. Nothing yet will go on good. That's why you say, I come over here, bro. I get too comfortable, bro, with the people, them, bro. Because today them say we, and tomorrow them say somebody else, bro. That's the thing, dog. I understand you saying, bro. You can't do what we be doing, bro. But me just lower them, bro. God, no matter what you do, bro, this is what you say, I show you, I show you, say, bro, we cannot please them, bro. Pussy, look about thing Perry do for Jamaica. Pull up that man. Foot hype, you slept for a wacky kill, bum buckle and fill up. And you see how 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 you Look how much help Perry them help bomb buckler people. I want the people that like the people up and rise in their life. But me going there as a bully, I'm telling this front boy. No, 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 can't talk me. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah man, so that I go on pan what I go on in a zine and my also see footer hype, you know. I show like certain positive message where I get as it relates to burning the fire pan like negativity and you don't know speaking his mind and stuff like that. So I post that with somebody I say, yo, thank you for holding up the culture, manners and respect. Even some people, even if some people in Jamaica now see what you are doing, enough people worldwide see you and appreciate Oh no, you see it and footer say this kind of message keep me going. Going, there is no fear when I'm doing God's work, straight nation for life. That our footer hype of say is it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about dancehall artist Movado sharing a positive message then. And the message is about Tammy Lee Sparta and Up Top Boss sending certain type of message out there to the youth them. Zin said them need for put on the gun and them thing there. And you know it's a positive message, is it? And seeing Movado post this, I feel like say yo, I love the direction when we say dance all ago as it relates to like them artists are like Movado. That that's why they will see him and I don't yeah, link up and you don't know you know it it, it kind of bring forth hope say a lot of the entertainers them we have beef in the past them are gonna put it down you understand we say I don't yeah, I'm busy link up we say I don't yeah, big up massacre recently and things so 
we say more of the share that message here and you don't know I like the message people so I want to share this I only can tell more anything you understand I hope that video will go viral because a them kind of message I want to hear I go around you understand what I say more people so listen to this big up get family, a youth up big up family and big up TGF you know what Sunfest you hear what family tell you say oh, you know what I a youth go to prison you hear what TGF say for Sunfest oh no that's a I don't know one another, so brother. Believe me, dog. Look on the state I agree with them. They look like a hog pen. Show them, youth. Get a youth. Pro down the life, youth. The fullest youth. Look on the state, brother. Look on the state, brother. Brother, me don't want to come in and none of them yet, brother. I'm too young for this, dog. I have a future, dog. I have my kids, them, dog. I have my family, them, dog. I have my family, them. Pro down me, brother. Move from here with the gun, them. I don't want none. I have a mind on my own youth. All who are influenced about badness. I don't want nobody influenced about badness. Get a youth, have a mind on the own. Don't follow no man. You don't see man do badness. And them live long. You don't feel like you can live long to. No, brother. Nothing of them at the time. No loyalty no there. No badness right now. Get a youth. Pro down the life. Because the police are killing you and the friend are killing the youth. Pro down the life, brother. Most of them young youth are there. And they jump in a the badness. They now live for C25. Much less 19. Get a youth. And yeah, man, so as I say, my father did share that on him status and thing. And of course, you know, say people would uh, react to it and thing. But the original post came from Queen I Freak as page. But you don't know, my father put it up on him status and thing, is it? So it's definitely a good look, my people. So let me know what you think about that message that my father share, is it? Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about a woman who is asking dancehall artist Valiant for some help. You understand me and some people? And the help she, what she want is basically if you get a new fridge. Now, if you know Valiant, Valiant, you know say Valiant is a kind-hearted youth and I have no doubt that if this message get to Valiant he will actually help out this woman see my people so she posted a message saying hey Valiant I hope this message finds you in good health and high spirit I am a very big fan of yours mainly because of your story and your rise to glory God is truly amazing and you put in the work even though you had been denied that's motivation for me 100 I am trying to come out with my restaurant but for now it's a cook shop and I am very grateful however I am very much in need of a fridge more so like a freezer to keep my meats among other necessities I am unable to purchase a new one right now as I am having to pay these bills and take care of my two smallest children full time. I also have a mentally ill older son so it's hard at the moment. I am asking you please if you can assist me in any way I would be entirely grateful. Thank you in, thank you in advance even for reading my message. Continue to be the humble intellectual person that you are. Many more blessings to you with a heart emoji. So so well, I hope this message get to Valiant and of course all him have to do is just like repost it and tell the person for link him and of course me know she will message him or whatever it may be. Isn't it? The original post come from Pink Wall so me, you know the people him over there attack Valiant and things so we just I hope him can get that woman at the help because you don't know when people are trying to make it in a life we have to endorse them thing here. You understand what I say my people? She know they are sell her body she are trying to get her business up and running bigger up is it anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Tommy Lee Sparta getting a serious warning for change over him life. You understand what I'm saying? And the man who has sent this message is actually a Christian and thing. You understand my people? He's not a pastor. Well, him say he's not a pastor. He's not a prophet. He's none of that. He is just a normal man who go to church, but him does get a vision as it relates to Tommy Lee Sparta. You see it? Now, the man also spoke about Ninja Man, among some other things, and said that Tommy Lee Sparta get a second chance for change him life and, you know, him believe that he needs to do it you understand my people so let me get to this video right now and as usual when you can leave some comments in the comment section and let me know where you think you see it, my people listen this Tommy Lee Sparta um you went to Mexico around 2016 around that time frame and uh, you bought a ring in Mexico and from you purchased that ring that's when a whole lot of things started to go wrong in your life now, first of all, I want to establish I'm not a reader man, I'm not a obia man. As a matter of fact, I'm not no pastor, I'm not no bishop, I'm not no prophet. I have no title behind my name. Uh, how do I know this? It's because the Holy Spirit has showed me a window in your life. I don't know why I've been chosen. I've been praying to take this cup away from me, really and truly. I'm just a regular member in my congregation of the church that I attend. 
So when this message reach you, I just want you to know that this thing is not coming from me. I don't know how to read up nobody life. No, the Holy Spirit decided that he's going to do this thing different. He's going to show me your past instead of showing me your future. So unlike the other prophets, you know, like they would come on and say that um, something is going to happen in your future. No, he, he showed me. It's like I was seeing your life in a window. And I know what's going on really and truly. No, you went to a lodge at Sabina Park. I can see it says Mechanic Lodge 30. Within that vicinity there, within Sabina Park, you went to those people for them to help you. And um, I want you to understand the help that you sought. You didn't get it. Because more spirits actually, whatever they did, and you know, uh, more spirits actually entered you. I want you to know that it's actually deliverance that you need. No, the Holy Spirit also mentioned that it's not coincidence. The time that you got locked up, uh, if you think about everything, what the Holy Spirit was basically um, showing me. Do you realize that before the 15 year thing came out with the whole gun thing, it wasn't a coincidence that you got sentenced way before that. God is giving you a chance. He's giving you a chance at life again. That's what I want you to understand. And um, this entity that has entered your life from, from Mexico has been trying to kill you. Um, many times you were supposed to overdose uh, because of all the drugs that you were taking. I was just seeing your life from like a window. And the grace of God is what saved you. And he's given you another chance. He brought two names. As a matter of fact, before I, I reached to the two names, your, your, your daughter, one of your daughter, that same spirit, the spirit from Mexico, actually tried to kill your, your daughter uh, by some gun shop business I saw. I really don't know much. I haven't been keeping up with dance uh, really and truly. But anyway, uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit brought up two names in front of me. And... One was Dog Paw and the other one was Ninja Man. And I realized that um, what this meant was that both of them actually got chances. God was actually trying to give them a chance back at life to serve him and change the life. And if you notice, one has died and the other is spending the rest of his life in, in prison. And I, I strongly believe that God wants you to change your life. That's why he has um, shown me this vision. It's actually deliverance that you need. You need, you need spiritual help. You need for this entity to be um, removed from your life. As I said, I'm not, not no reader man. I'm not no prophet. I have no title behind my name. I'm just a regular member by my congregation at the church that I attend. No, one thing I want to tell you, find a Bible believing church that is led by the Holy Spirit and let them pray for you. If you don't know where to find one, then you can come and visit the church that I attend. It's at 92 Redillus Road at God Family Ministry. And of course, my pastor will pray for you. You need to change your life. That's the message that I got. All right, my people. So, when you think about the message we must send to Tommy Lee Sparta, when you think the entertainer needs to hear it, needs to take heed, need to listen and do the right thing, my people, leave it in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about Ron Marley, the son of Bob Marley, is pushing for this lawsuit that was filed against him to be dismissed. You understand what I mean? And this lawsuit has come from an ex employee and thing and thing. Is it? So, let me get to this article right away. So, it's a Ron Marley pushing for dismissal of ex 
ex-employees frivolous harassment wrongful termination lawsuit. Ron Marley and his company Shasha Main Group LLC have responded to a US $18.7 million lawsuit from their former employee Chloe Villano who claimed she was subjected to quid pro quo harassment, unlawful discrimination and wrongful termination. The complaint was filed in the Central District of California in early June. Villano, 34, who served as the CEO of Shasha Main, a cannabis company founded by Marley, 51, alleged that he not only forced her to endure a hostile work environment, but also demanded that he be allowed to impregnate her and that she does not engage in certain relations with any other men in return for securing her stake in the company. However, in a court filing on Friday, August 4th, Marley and Shasha Main pushed for an immediate dismissal of the allegations which they have described as frivolous and an attempt to exploit the Marley's name. They argue that Villano, despite her touted credentials in the cannabis industry, failed to perform her duties as Sasha Main CEO, which led to disruptions in business operations and her eventual resignation. She disrupted business, repeatedly lied, produced zero results for the company, tried to save face by resigning under the pretense that she never wanted to be the CEO, and then refused to civilly engage with Shasha Main's members are continue providing service of any services to the company, they wrote in the filing obtained by Dan Salmag. As a result, the management board terminated her membership, they claimed. All right, people, so that's not the full article, but you don't know the woman who claims so that them get rid of her and she helped for build a company here. You understand what I mean? And according to her, she and Ron Marley did have, you know, a certain type of relationship and all of them little thing there. And, you know, he would have tell her so she can't deal with other man and one bag of thing, my people. So, we we'll have to wait and see if the judge has got dismiss this lawsuit or what's going to happen. You see it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.